Every single day, I would walk the halls and all these poisonous negative thoughts were just consuming my mind 24 7 you're not good enough you're a fatty your teeth are ugly your face is ugly you're never going to succeed who would want to be friends with you all these poisonous thoughts that would bring me down i want you to imagine that you have all these thoughts in your brain but you're free from them they're still there but you're detached from them you realize that these thoughts are not you that these feelings in your body are not you. So you simply see these thoughts and these feelings in your body for what they are, simply thoughts and simply feelings. You do not judge these thoughts. You do not try to change them. Instead, you bring awareness to them. You become detached from them. So this is how you meditate for beginners. I'm gonna cover the who, the what, the when, and the how. So who should meditate? I think every single person on this planet should meditate. Almost every single person on this planet is consumed by the thoughts in their brain. So what is meditation and why is it so powerful? Meditation is simply mindfulness. It's thoughts are going to arise in your brain, in your mind, and you simply bring your attention back to the breath. Thoughts arise and you simply bring your attention back to the breath. And this is going to train you to see thoughts for what they are, that you are not your thoughts and that thoughts happen to you. You simply need to bring awareness to them and not judge them and see them for what they are and then bring your attention back to the breath. Why is it so powerful? Because you start to detach yourself from the thoughts and the feelings that you face every single day. Because when you are attached to these thoughts, you think that they are true. You think they are who you are. And when you detach yourself from them, you start to feel this inner peace within you because you realize that you are free from your mind. You are free from these feelings that were poisoning you all the time. When should you meditate? I think you should meditate every single day for five to 10 minutes. You can either do it in the morning, you can do it at night. Just find a time that you know you can be consistent with. How should I meditate? There's different forms of meditation. There are thousands of forms of meditation, but I'm gonna stick to the one I use, and that's I simply sit down, I close my eyes, and I focus on my breath. And then thoughts are going to arise, and then I simply bring my attention from my thoughts to my breath. Thoughts arise, and then I bring my attention back to the breath. And this cycle is going to repeat itself. You're gonna notice that your awareness is going to go to your thoughts. So what do you do? Simply bring that awareness, that attention, that focus from your thoughts back to your breath. What this is going to do is it's going to train your mind to go back to the breath. When you're back to the breath, you're back to the present moment. And the point of meditation is not to judge your thoughts. The point of meditation is not to have no thoughts. The point of meditation is to simply notice your thoughts and to not judge them. Don't try to change them, but instead notice them and then bring your attention back to the breath. Over time, the more consistent you are with meditation, the more benefits that you will notice. You're gonna have more mindfulness. You're gonna notice that you're not gonna be attached to your thoughts. You're gonna notice that you're gonna feel anger or sadness, but you're not gonna be attached to this feeling. It's gonna improve your mental health drastically. It's gonna help you make better choices. So actionable step you can do right now, practice meditation, five to 10 minutes. And you might be thinking to yourself, I don't have time for meditation. I don't have five minutes. You might be thinking to yourself, meditation isn't gonna do anything for me. You might be thinking to yourself, I don't know if I can do meditation. And to that I say, if you're overthinking, meditation is for you. You get better at meditation by simply showing up, by simply doing five, 10 minutes, even two minutes a day. And it's not your fault because society has conditioned you and your parents and your friends to be so consumed by these thoughts in your brain. They've never taught you about meditation. They've never taught you about mindfulness. 99% of people on the planet don't even know that they can detach themselves from their mind. They're so consumed by the thoughts in their brain that they think those thoughts are them. I always thought that these negative poisonous thoughts, these insecure thoughts of you're not good enough, I thought these thoughts were me. And so I would feel it in my body and it felt like shit. It felt like I was drinking, feeling poison in my body every single day and that made my mental health 
go down to recap who is meditation for everyone that struggles with the thoughts in their brain this overthinking what is meditation meditation is simply mindfulness when should you meditate every single day for five to ten minutes how should i meditate there are various forms of meditation the one i recommend is the most simple one to simply sit down focus on your breath thoughts are going to arise bring your attention back to the breath and why should you meditate because it's going to increase your mindfulness it's going to make it so that you're not attached to these thoughts in your brain it's going to make it so that you're more present in the moment you're more present when you're having a conversation with someone which is going to allow you to connect with someone on a deeper level believe in yourself believe that you have the power to achieve the life that you desire life is so short Keep going and don't give up.